What's going on YouTube? It is Eli with Common Sense and today I have a bit of a really cool video. Today I'm going to be unboxing five fragrances from Latafa. And so I got all of these from fragrancebuy.ca and they were having a big sale on a lot of the Latafas and a lot of the Middle Eastern ones and they were around half price. So regularly they'd be about 50 to like $60 and I got a lot of these for around 20 to like $30 each, give or take a little bit, uh, depending on the one but I'm really excited for this video. I've been waiting a while for them to come to the US, but I am really excited. So let's get started. The first one on the list is called Badi Al Oud Amethyst by Latafa. So this is an Eau de Parfum, and as you can see, the box looks absolutely awesome. And we're gonna go ahead and unbox this for you. As you can see, this has a really, really cool gold base plate at the very front, as well as a really nice matte kind of dark purple bottle. It just looks really nice. It also has the trippy kind of floating Latafa logo that you can see here, as well as in all of the Latafa fragrances. So if you don't see with one of those, then it might be used. Go ahead and open this up. I always used to try and take my time opening these up. But honestly, this plastic is just gonna get thrown into the trash. So we'll go ahead and throw it away. This box lifts up really nice. So check this out. Oh, look at this presentation, my gosh. So the inside has sort of like this little inset where it lays. And so if you pull on it, you have the full bottle. The top's also got a really nice sort of plastic gold on the top and it looks really, really high quality for the price. Definitely hats off to Latafa for the presentation for all of their fragrances. It's So this cap is sort of like a, I don't know what you would call this, it's almost like a rubberized plastic. It feels really nice and heavy in the hand. You've got a nice gold atomizer and also on the bottom, it's got a plastic gold plate as well. I've heard online that it is sort of like a clone of Initio's Atomic Rose, and I have been loving Oud and Rose fragrances lately, so let's see how this smells. Pretty decent atomizer, not gonna lie. Ooh, this is interesting. Off the bat, it's sort of sweet, a little bit a little bit aromatic. I almost get a little bit of rosemary, but I think that's from the pepper and the bergamot. It's kind of kind of herbal, but it smells really nice. There's a little bit of a synthetic note in there, and my guess is that's the uh, amber and the oud, that kind of combination. You definitely get a sweet kind of jammy rose, and that's from that Bulgarian and Turkish rose that they use. The good thing is you don't smell a whole lot of alcohol off the bat, like a lot of cheaper fragrances. So on skin, it kind of evens out a little bit. You definitely get a lot of that pink pepper and some of that oud. That jasmine also kind of kicks through and makes it smell a little bit kind of white floral. It definitely has that lighter floral that I really do like, but at the same time, it is a little bit synthetic and honestly, you can't really knock it for that price. I mean, to get a super high quality, you know, niche level fragrance for like $30, $40, that's, I mean, you know, you're not gonna, you get what you pay for. In this instance, I get sort of a, almost like a plastic vibe. Yeah, I think it's that jasmine and the pink pepper that kind of make it smell a little bit synthetic. It smells a little bit sweet, light, almost a little bit feminine, but that's okay. I definitely like some florals and lightness in my fragrances. In fact, I wear a lot of unisex fragrances. Honestly, it's not horrible and it's not overly great. I'd say it's pretty average. All in all, if you want a kind of a nice oody, ambery, slightly sweet and warm rose with a little bit of white floral and some kind of pepper in there, definitely pick this one up. This one's pretty good for the price. And again, that one is Badi Al Oud Amethyst by Latafa. Next on the list is Mahir Black Edition. This one I have been really, really excited about. I've been really wanting to try this one out. I've heard really great things about this one. I've heard people compare this to Ebony Fume by Tom Ford and John Vervedo Stark Rebel, which are two of my all-time favorite fall fragrances. So let's go ahead and open this up. A little ASMR for ya. So this one is more of a paper kind of matte finish on the outside. I really dig these boxes, honestly. But this one, it just slides out through the bottom. So we're gonna slide that out. 
Ooh, I can already smell this and I think I'm gonna like it. So you open this up and it has a nice kind of foam insert in the middle. But the main thing that we all want is this bottle. Oh, the bow is part of the box. That makes sense. <laughs> I almost broke this off. So this bottle is partly the reason why I bought this fragrance in the first place. It looks a lot like the Penn Hallington's bottles, and I really like this. Nice sort of high quality horse cap on here, and I love the black that they use over the bottle. Something that's a little interesting is it sort of curves down on this bottle, and it has a narrow base as opposed to the kind of wider top. So I don't know if this is gonna be the greatest when you're reaching for you know your fragrances and stuff on your shelf or your display. Um, it might get knocked over. I am wanting to judge the smell, so let's give it a spray. Ooh, okay, okay. Good atomizer, that's pretty dang nice. It actually projects a little bit more than the last one. Let's just let this dry down for a second. This fragrance has bergamot, rosemary, violet in the top. In the middle, it has Chiara incense, orris root, myrrh, amber, labdanum, and vanilla. And in the base, it has agar wood, which is oud, smoke, leather, sandalwood, patchouli, and cedar. Oh, this one's really cool. Initially, when you first spray it, there's a little bit of a pungent note, but once it kind of dries down, it almost gives me a smoky bacon vibe get a lot of that kind of burnt smoky woods but also a little bit of like a smoked almost like a smoked meat i wonder what that is that's cool i'm gonna let this dry down a little bit more that smells really cool so people have compared this one to john varvedo's dark rebel i don't see it i honestly don't see it that kind of smoky almost animalistic vibe from that oud the agar wood with the smoke and the leather i think that's what's doing it and that's really really trippy. Also, the incense is very strong in this as well. I think that's also what's giving it that kind of vibe, those kind of four notes mixed together. I think this one's going to be absolutely fantastic for the colder weather and once it starts cooling down, you know, in the nighttime and the evenings, I think this is definitely going to project. Man, that smells really cool. Man, this does remind me of Ebony Fumé because it's very smoky, incense-y, but at the same time, it smells like a really nice smoky burnt wood. And I really dig that. That kind of synthetic oud at the top has sort of died down a little bit and now it smells a little bit more smoky. So this is a really interesting one. It does have that dark depth from the smoke and the oud, but you also get a nice kind of woody patchouli that's a little bit sweet. And that bottle definitely does give off that vibe. And that's crazy that you get all of that juice for like 25 bucks. I like this one a lot. I think I'd be reaching for this one a lot more once it gets a little bit colder. And that one is Latafa's Mahir Black Edition. Next up on the list is another one, and this one I was also very excited to try. This one is Shaheen Gold by Latafa Pride. Now, if I remember correctly, Latafa has many different uh, kind of sister companies and smaller subsidiaries under one brand, but this one is from their Pride line, which I believe is a little bit more high quality, and I'm really excited to try this one. This one I think was like 35 or 40 dollars compared to the 20 25 that i spent on the others so this looks really cool with that kind of gold embossed bird on the front that looks so sick and the arabic oh that looks so cool all right let's open this bad boy up you also get the latafa logos on the top and it looks really cool so far this looks like luxury right here and not in a cheap kitsch way this looks really nice so you get the plastic base as well as that clear top and you also get a little booklet man look at all of these fragrances they just they just go ham look at that that's a flex showing off all of your different fragrances just in a little booklet on the bottle itself you get this really cool frosted glass with a nice cap i think the bird is metal on the top but the cap itself is plastic so Shaheen Gold has pineapple and grapefruit in the top, and in the middle it has lavender and fig. In the base it has tonka, vanilla, and patchouli. Let's go ahead and give this a spray. Ooh, that is definitely the nicest atomizer so far. I like that one a lot. Summer vibes for sure. I like the fact that they use the lavender and the fig in here because the fig gives it sort of a slightly herbal kind of leafy smell. 
and the pineapple just really kicks through. This is very citrusy, kind of creamy. It's got a really nice vanilla kind of amber to it, but it's not really dense. It's not all that heavy. It's more citrus and kind of lightweight, if that makes sense. People have said that this has sort of a similar vibe to David Beckham, The Essence, and a lot of people compare it to Dreamwoods by Galleria Parfums. Man, that cap does not come off that easy. So if you reach for this and grab the top, you know, it's, you gotta, you gotta pull. Oh, I like this one. This one does smell a little bit generic in terms of kind of a citrusy tonka vanilla, but I do like it. It's a little bit creamy and it doesn't have it in there, but I almost get a little bit of pineapple and coconut. Coconut's not listed, but I do get that kind of, uh, that kind of pina colada vibe up top. That might be from the kind of creamy tonka and vanilla mixed with the pineapple, but it smells really nice. It smells sweet, it smells lightweight, uplifting, and it's not super dense and heavy. I honestly didn't really know what to expect with this one. I knew it was gonna be a little bit kind of sweet, uh, but I think this is gonna be great for the summertime and kind of hotter fall evenings, mornings and daytime. This is actually really nice once it's starting to dry down a little bit. It's got a little bit more of that vanilla and tonka, that amber is kind of coming out and you're losing a little bit of that bright citrus up top. Yeah, now you get kind of like a creamy vanilla with just a hint of that citrus. I think that smells really good. I like this one a lot. And I definitely, definitely like the presentation. I think I definitely recommend this for the summer time. And that one is Shaheen Gold by Latafa Pride. Yeah, that smells really good. Next up, we're looking at Latafa Musamam. Oh, look at that. You see the Musamam text and the Latafa logo up top. And on the bottom, it just has the information. But on the outside, it has this really cool kind of snake skin, almost alligator type texture to it. That looks really cool. So this will open up sideways. So you kind of peel it open like a book. Oh, look at this bottle. That looks so cool. I love the presentation and I love the bottle. My only gripe is this top part right here. I think the top of the bottle looks a little bit cheap. You can see it's glossy, it's kind of plastic, and it's got this really kind of cheesy scale print out on the front. And I think it looks a little bit cheap, almost like one of those pins that you'd put on your backpack or that you'd wear. You get this really cool raised metallic look on the snake. And the snake itself has these kind of rhinestone eyes and it just looks really, really cool. And I think this is my favorite bottle out of all of them. But again, if it's at eye level, you're not really gonna see that. And I think it would look a little bit nicer if it was just pure black on the top or just that kind of metallic textured look on the top. But that's just my personal opinion. Let's go ahead and open this up and see how it smells. Really nice atomizer. I've bought $100, $200 fragrances that have worse atomizers than these. So good job, Latafa. Ooh, instantly, instantly this is my favorite out of all of them. That is nice. <laughs> I'm in love with this one. Oh my gosh, for 20, like 25 bucks? That is insane. Up top, this fragrance has Italian mandarin, lavender, and saffron. In the middle, it has Egyptian geranium, Virginia cedar wood, and amber wood. And in the base, it has Somalian incense, Akigala wood, and Cistus concrete. Now, Cistus concrete is sort of a rich, sweet, warm, resinous note that reminds some people of amber. It's a little bit resinous, and it just kind of gives it a little bit of a punch. A little bit of a, kind of like a bitter amber, but it also has a calming facet to it. And a lot of people use it in like a fragrance oil or just apply some of it to kind of calm themselves down. So I've heard, man, I think this is by far my, fra my favorite one. And this might actually be one of my favorite budget fall fragrances now that I'm thinking about it and I'm smelling it. That gold juice looks absolutely fantastic in this bottle. It just looks luxury. It smells really high quality and you gotta love that snake on there. This just looks so cool. It's got a nice heft to it. Even just alone, it looks really nice. It kind of reminds me of Less Elixirs. It reminds me of that brand a little bit, just without the cap. But man, this stuff smells good. Some people have compared this to Gucci Guilty Absolute. 
um, and have compared it to sort of a Western take at a Middle Eastern oud fragrance. Um, this one, you get smoky incense mixed with a wonderful, wonderful oud. I like that they don't use the, the rose in here because it gives it more of a smoky, sort of burnt leaf effect to it. It kind of reminds me of Autumn Vibes a little bit. It's smoky incense with sort of a woody facet to it, and it just smells really good. Honestly, this fragrance is what I thought Mahir Black Edition was going to be. Hands down, fantastic for the price, Latafa Musamam. Last but not least, we have a fragrance called Majd Al Sultan by Azdaf. Azdaf is also under Latafa. Latafa has kind of that overarching parent company. Around the entire box, you get this kind of cool velvet kind of felt feel to it. And you have that little floating logo right there. Let's go ahead and open it up. So Majd Al Sultan. Man, this is a cool bottle. The bottle itself has that felt on the outside as well. I've never had a bottle that has this kind of textured feel to it. Oh yeah, this cap, this is all plastic. But the bottle itself looks really cool and I'm curious to see how this smells. So let's spray it. Ooh, good sprayer. Man, all of these have had really good sprays. Hmm. Okay, okay, I'm digging this one. So Maj Al Sultan has smoke and tobacco in the top with myrrh, pepper, incense, and saffron in the middle, and a base of fir, resins, amber, and cedar. It does give a similar vibe to Musamam, but in a little bit of a different direction. This one's also got that kind of smoky kind of incense, but it also has a really nice warmth to it from the myrrh and the tobacco. That smells really interesting. It's a warm and soft smokiness to it. It's not in your face. It doesn't punch you like my hair black. <laughs> I almost get a little bit of cinnamon, just a nice spice to it. I think it's coming from that saffron and that amber. And I think out of all of these, this one might be the most wearable as well as the Latafa Pride one. A lot of people have compared this to By the Fireplace. Um, some people say they get a lot of pine and fur, but to me, this one smells really warm and fuzzy. Just like, hey, that's exactly why they did that. It smells warm and fuzzy, just like the bottle. Spray a little more. You, I definitely get that amber, that almost kind of tree sap type vibe with a little bit of that warmth and kind of spiciness from the myrrh and the pepper with a little bit of incense. But man, that tobacco and that smoke up top just smell really, really, really nice. I think this one and the last one definitely smell the highest quality out of all of them, but for the price, these are absolutely fantastic. This one smells niche quality. It's warm, smoky, resinous. It smells fantastic. I keep saying that over and over, but it really, really does. It smells like a warm fireplace with just these nice smoky resins. All in all, I kind of went into these, at least with the last two, knowing that I wanted a smoky oud uh, with a little bit of incense, because I'm starting to really enjoy those types, and I'm glad I got those for sure. And if you're looking for something, just kind of look at the notes and I think some of these are definitely blind buy safe. Adi Al Oud, Amethyst, don't love that one. Mahir Black, not the greatest, but the other three I definitely like. So I say three out of five is pretty good. And again, I didn't end up spending a whole lot. I think I spent like around 120, 130 for all five bottles. So that's pretty dang good, especially when you factor in the presentation, the bottle look, and when these sit on the shelf, like they just look really, really high quality. And you can kind of impress your friends too if they come over and they're like, oh damn, what do you have up there? Like that looks expensive. Nah. I just spent a hundred bucks, then I'll five. <laughs> know which style of fragrance you like, go after the ones that kind of match that vibe. And you might be surprised if you take a step out of your comfort zone and pick up some of these because they are a little bit challenging, some of them, but I highly encourage to check out more fragrances from the House of Latafa. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and fragrance content in general, please consider subscribing or leaving a like because it helps me out greatly. We are almost to a hundred subs and that would be awesome if we could get to 100 subs by the end of this month. That would be so cool. Uh, just a little personal goal I set aside. But thank you for watching. I've been Eli with Common Sense. Until next time, bye-bye.